Today we are going to dive into the exciting world of zero trust networking for Proxmox. You will be surprised that the best performance did not come from the most popular system. Our approach was unbiased, but the results stunned us. Now prepare to be amazed by the results of our tests. Now, without further ado, let me introduce you to our Proxmox expert, Nico. Please note that Nico has a charming Dodecanese European accent, but fear not, he speaks the Queen's English fluently. Over to you, Nico. Thank you, Josh. Hi there. Today's video is going to be controversial. We are going to compare zero tier tail scale and net bird. You will not believe what results we got when we first made these tests. First, we are going to ping a server on another continent, on the other side of the Atlantic. Here, we are going to compare the direct ping to that server with the ping going through zero tier. This is the direct ping to that server. Now we are going to ping that server connecting through zero tier. We want to compare what zero tier does when working across the pond. In other words, in other words, from another continent. For all our tests, we are going to do nine pings so that our results can be comparable. Now that we've done this test, we will come back and look at the results in more detail. But as you can see, the direct ping to this server in another continent and the ping going through tail scale is coming up very close. I'm now going to ping a local server, a Proxmox server. I'm going to ping, ping it direct and I'm going to ping it through zero tier. This is direct. And through zero tier. And you can see it's amazing that the results are amazing. This is the ping direct to the server. And this is the ping using the zero tier network. And you can see that these results are very similar. We are now going to do something similar but with tail scale. In the previous test, we pinged using the direct and through zero tier. Now we are going to use tail scale and we are going to ping direct as well as through tail scale. This is the direct. We are pinging a VM in our Proxmox server. And now through Telsco. And here we see similar results which is what we expected. They're not exactly the same. You can see that the ping times going through tail scale are definitely taking longer than the ping times direct to that VM. So you can see here, there is definitely a difference between tail scale and zero tier. We will now do a different test. We are now going to ping two servers in the same country. In this test, we want to compare zero tier with netbird. 
this is the zero tier ping. We are now going to do the netbird ping to the server in the same data center in our in the same country. Now, if you look at the results, you can see there's the big difference between pinging using zero tier and pinging using netbird. And this was very unexpected. From doing these tests, we were able to make the following conclusion. Zero tier has been designed and built using a different approach from netbird and tail scale. We found that with zero tier, regardless whether you were in across the continent or whether you were in the same country, you always got very small pings. And the reason is the way the zero tier server establishes a direct tunnel between the two machines that we were testing. So that was the, di the difference between zero tier, netbird and tail scale. The design and the architecture was different. Secondly, we found that if you were working in the local geography, in other words, in the same country, it would not make a big difference using zero tier, netbird or tail scale. However, we did find that if you were working across the Atlantic, in other words, from a different continent, then definitely zero tier will make a big improvement on the way you connect. And although we have found that NetBird is more popular, our results show that if you are working in the same geography, that's fine, NetBird is good, it works well, and so does tail scale. In fact, if you use head scale with tail scale, you probably could compete with zero tier for working across different geographies. However, now that you have seen our results, please give us a comment. Tell us what you anticipated and what what you saw in our results. We tried to make this video unbiased, but from the results you can see there is definitely a small difference if you are working from the same country, but there is definitely a big difference if you're working cross-continent. So it depends on your requirement. Are you using this service for your home use? In which case you could use any of the three. But if you are in a business where you are routing connections across the Atlantic or across the Pacific, then in your case, you will need to have a look at our results and make your own conclusion. We trust you found our figures interesting. We never expected to get these results. Thank you for watching this video. Please give us a like. And please subscribe to our channel. We haven't reached our target yet. And with that, back to you, Josh. We thank you for watching this video. Today, Nico tested Netbird, Tailscale, and Zero Tier to see which was better. Our approach was unbiased, but the results have stunned us. We were surprised that the best performance did not come from the most popular system, which is Netbird. If you have not given us a like, please do so. Please let us know why are you watching our videos. Please subscribe to our channel so we can reach our target. Your support is crucial for our channel's growth. Stay curious and continue exploring and harnessing Proxmox's remarkable potential in your home lab and DevOps journey. Thank you for being part of our community.